uh, welcome all to learning beyond again uh, we are continuing uh, our today's uh, session uh, regarding the structure standard drawing so till now we have seen the simply supported beam details fixed beam details and continuous beam details today we will see the uh, cantilever beam details so cantilever beam so yeah all of you know that uh, cantilever beam means one end is free like this so let's say uh, i will give you some analytical example if this is the case so this is a fixed support and there is no support at this end and if there is a load like this then we get the bending moments like this so this we call it as a cantilever beam uh, without uh, any support at one end so fixed end at one end and free end at one end or we can say uh, if there is a continuous beam like this say uh, this kind of beam is there so this beam is we can say continuous and this is a cantilever one so what will be the bending moment diagram if i assume this as a simply supported then this will be the bending moment diagram so you can understand there is a full tension on the cantilever top portion so this is a tension zone this is compression zone here it is a tension zone it is a compression zone so you can understand by looking at the this bending moment diagram that the total top region or top cord is in tension so we will provide the steel at the top portion and that still has to go beyond also because you can see the bending moment diagram is still beyond the support so this is the location of the support and you can see bending moment till this zone so whatever steel i provide it has to go back into the back beam so from here to here it has to go so what is the distance and that we will see uh, in uh, structural drawing detail so let's say draw this beam if uh, these beams are supported on the columns this is column then these are also columns two columns and then there is a cantilever beam okay Now, by looking at the uh, bending moment diagram here, you can understand that we will provide steel here. So whenever there is a bending moment, we will provide steel here like this. So this will be your steel for this tension or bending moment, which is coming here. Okay. Then we will provide a yell also at the end. and this is a compression zone so we will provide nominal anchor bars here to take care of the to hold the stirrups we can say please note that whenever we provide any uh, full span steel like this the steel has to go beyond this column support till the end here also you can see the steel is going till the end of the column here this face not inner face it is outer face outer face now here also uh, we will provide these two bars so there is a tension at the bottom so we will provide this like this see this bar also we are taking beyond this face outer face of the column outer face of the bar. and then for we can curtail these bars also like this now as i told you uh, if i assume this as a simply supported then you need not to uh, do the development or yell here uh, but yes for this zone you can provide yell then also uh, at the cantilever beam bottom there is a compression so we will provide nominal reinforcement here like this to hold the stirrups now what is the spacing here so for cantilever uh, beam let's say if this is a l1 cantilever span then from here to here this bar should be either l1 
or ld whichever is maximum okay so ld uh, it depends on the grade of the steel and uh, concrete grade uh, so for example let's say if we have a m20 and fe 500 then we can assume ld is equal to uh, roughly 60 times diameter of the bar and if we have m20 and fe 415 then we can assume ld as 50 times diameter there are calculation for the ld actually as per ice code but practical purpose, we generally give the round numbers like 60, 50, 40, like this. So this is the LD or L1, whichever is maximum. All other details are same for as uh, for this beam actually. So for example, if this is the simply supported end, we can assume this 0.1 L2, if it is L2, this is the L2, let's say. And this is a continuous part. So we can consider 0.15, l2 here and there is uh, this is only anchor bars for holding the stirrups and uh, by looking at the shear force diagram also you can uh, you know that the shear force is maximum near the support so we will have closer spacing near the support so let's say here shear force is maximum near the support so in cantilever beam also you can provide closer spacing near the support like this Okay, and then after that, you can have a loose spacing or more spacing. See, so this will be added till the top. Right. Similarly, here in this zone near the support, more steel, more stirrups. Like this, and then have a more spacing near the center like this so this is the overall detailing for the cantilever beams uh, if it is uh, supported on the columns or if it is supported on the on the beam so this support may be beam or this support may be column uh, depends on the building uh, say plan uh, whatever you are preparing so Thank you all. So this is for the cantilever beams. Uh, upcoming sessions, we will see the slabs and all. So thank you all.